Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to set up the peer-to-peer -peer communications in a BACnet device, particularly using the Johnson Controls devices. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of software editing using the controller configuration tool. Now in this video, one of the things that you need to remember is I'm going to be having the device that I am using as my source device open in Metasys. I'm going to be having the program that is going to be receiving that information opened in the CCT. There are some critical information that I need to have from my source device, particularly the instance number of the controller as well as the instance number from the particular point where I'm sharing information. What we're doing in this particular video is sharing the zone temperature from a thermostat that is tied to one VAV. We're sharing that information with another VAV and it can be done with a group of VAVs as well using the same process. This type of data share is very useful when you want to have one thermostat or one particular device giving you a measurement and then sharing that information along a series of controllers. Anyways guys, stay with us in this video and we're going to show you how to set up that peer-to-peer -peer communication. Here is the controller that we are going to be writing the zone temperature into. This is a uh, this is the controller that we're going to be using as our source controller. You can see here that we are reading the information for the zone temperature. This is the instance number that we're going to need for the point. Uh, to read from for the controller. So we open our program in CCT and commission into the program here of the device we're going to be sending the information to. I click my edit button here. I'm going to go from this drop down window here. I'm going to select AI and in this box I'm going to enter that instance number of that particular controller our source controller. Now then, I've got to also get the instance number for the zone temp itself. View the zone temp, click hardware, and here is the instance number for that particular software point. And that is what we're going to be writing into the this controller here. And uh, once again, I enter that information into this box, and as soon as I hit apply, it will start receiving information and here we are we are now reading the zone temperature from one thermostat and are sharing that information between two controllers this can be used to share information between multiple controllers if you have a few VAV serving one particular area it's a great way to uh, share data between devices Remember that the instance number for the device is not the address of the device on your BACnet network connected to your NAE. It is critical that you have that information entered correctly in the receiving device. You have to have it correctly entered for the BACnet instance number for the device that you're looking at as well as for the specific software point where you are pulling information from. Anyways guys I hope this video is helpful to you. Uh, if you have uh, any questions just leave them down in the comments below. I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to visit my blog at systemcontroltech.com <laughs>